Coach referred to it, but you, the, the performance, you know, leave, leaving Hawaii on a, on a better note, um, you know, what does that mean for you guys and what does it mean to have Brett step up and kind of set the tone and, and help you end it on a good note? I mean, Walker did an amazing job. I mean, um, I, you know, I saw the look in his eye when he came off the bus. He was ready to go. You know, he was he was in his zone from the start. He was um, his prep work was impeccable. I mean, I mean, as we saw, he went out there, um, ground outs when he needed to get ground outs, and you know, it was perfect through through five and a third. And um, he did a great job. And that's I mean, that's what we needed going. I mean, especially after the weekend we had to start. Um, and especially going into pack play, playing a big opponent opponent this next weekend, and um, it was just it's something that our team needed to be able to get going in the right direction going into pack play. Do you have a sense of what's clicking for him, and also just what it means for him to be, you know, performing at a level I'm sure he's he's hoped to be at for a couple of years now. Yeah, I mean he's like I said he's doing really well. It's I think the biggest thing for him was just um, he's believing in himself and telling himself that he's better than whoever's in the box and that he's going to beat him no matter what and just trusting in the stuff that he has I mean he's got re he's got really good stuff and him being able to trust that is the biggest thing I mean that's big for any pitcher um, you believe in your stuff and the and the way that you go about your business you're going to be successful and um, he's starting to click and it's it's going to be it's fun to watch him eventually you earn that through your results. Mm -hmm. Do you have to like fake it for a little while or something? How do you find that balance when you don't yet have the track record <laughs> yeah. of, of believing yourself enough to, to perform well? Yeah, um, to a certain extent, to a certain extent you have to, but um, to be a, to be a good player, you have to go through failure. And, um, you know, he's, he's he went through some up, ups and downs the last few years, being, you know, starting, coming out of the pen, doing different things. And um, him trying to solidify a role and knowing that he can do it was, um, was big and I, you know, I couldn't be more proud of him, um, especially the way that he came out um, on Sunday and trying to prove a point. You know, try to get in the rotation during during pack play. And uh, I mean, he keeps working harder than anyone on our staff, and he's doing a great job. And he continuously uh, does it throughout the week. What are you personally working on right now on the mound to get back to your old self? And obviously, th there's some reinventing that has to go down go on with uh, the injuries that you've been through uh, just just strength that's the biggest thing there's only there's only so much you can do with with throwing I mean it's like with hitting you can t continuously hit and hit and hit but with throwing you can only throw so much before you know it gets to be too much for your body um, and so just trying to make the best of the time that I have when I do it um, making sure each throw counts not not skipping a throw and and just kind of you know, lobbing it in there doing something like that and um, Making sure there's good intent behind everything I do to be able to get to the strength that I am trying to get to, and what I was. So, um, so have you been working, I guess, tirelessly with your approach at the plate? I mean, it, the numbers reflect just a, a significant improvement from the previous few years. Yeah, like I mean, like I've said before, and just trying to, you know, do the best I can to help this team win in any aspect. Um, obviously, the pitching's the pitching's not where where I want it to be. Um, and where it could be, um, but going out there and you know making sure my the hitting side of it's um, doing I'm doing well on that side, and helping the team get put into a situation where we can win a ball game um, on the offensive side um, is something that I that I take pride in that I've been taking pride in since the injury happened. Trying to get in the mindset of being able to do that and go out there and perform at a high level if it even if it's not pitching. What's the difference though? And what do you think has changed as far as even being able to hit at that high average right now that you have? Uh, it's just the approach, being able to believe in myself. Um, and honestly, it's kind of being able to focus on hitting a little bit more, knowing that there's only so much pitching that I can do. Um, and so taking my extra time to, you know, I get my, I get all my pitching work in and everything. And then I, you know, I hit, I hit more than, more than I can. And, um, just trying to watch as much video as possible, you know, feed good thoughts in my brain, and um, just like I do when I pitch, go out there and tell myself that no one's going to be able to beat me when well, I step in the box. The cliche is for hitters who are in a zone like that is the ball looks like a beach ball coming mm -hmm. up. I mean, is, any, is that kind of what's happening? Is the ball looking uh, bigger than what it might have uh, years back? Or? I mean, it's 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 just baseball, honestly. It's like it's. Yeah. You know, it's going well right now, and it's just how how can I get better each and every day? It's uh, it's a game of adjustments throughout the year. You know, my swing could look different from now when I'm going well, and I could be doing well at the end of the year. My swing could be looking completely different. Uh, you know, it's all making tweaks here and there when you need to. Um, 
and just like I said um, before, just feeding good thoughts into your brain, being able to tell yourself that you know you're better than any, that you're better than everyone else, being able to go out there and you know walk a fine line of being confident and uh, be able to perform at that level. What has the other guy? What have the pitchers been throwing? I mean, once they see how successful have they been, they've been trying to get you out with something else. You're still hitting that, or can you break that down a little bit? Yeah, I mean, just trying to, just trying to, like I said, go out there and um, you know, go up there with a plan, go up there to be able to um, just see a pitch and hit it. Be, you know, there's only there's only so much we can practice without seeing live pitching during the week. So um, trying to go off machines and do everything, trying to simulate my brain um, of you know maybe what a team's going to throw me the next weekend, stuff like that. But you know, just go up there with a plan and try to execute the plan as best as possible. But um, each at bat is different. Um, like I said, just trying to put the team in the right spot to win. And you know, say there's a guy on second base with no outs, I got to find a way to get him home. So it could be different than me leading off an inning. But you know, I'm just trying to go out there, hit the ball as hard as I can, and everything will work out. Well, what I'm asking is, he's like, I mean, do they start you with some fastballs, and then all of a sudden you're just getting a lot of crooked pitches or a lot of more curves because they don't. They don't want to throw a fastball at you. Do you notice that at all? Or? Uh, I mean, not really. I mean, okay. there's only so much. There's only so much you can get away with throwing off speed. You can still time up off speed just as much as fastball. So, um, just trying to be able to just see pitches out of hand. You know, watch film, do stuff like that. Be able to um, see what you know, see what guys are throwing, see how they throw, release points, um, timing when I'm in, when I'm not in the batter's box. Just watching in the dugout, stuff like that. Just trying to be locked in as much as possible throughout the game to be able to succeed.